With legal migration to the UK reaching unprecedented levels, Sky News can reveal allegations that criminal gangs are putting people on planes and trafficking them by exploiting visas for skilled workers. We're calling this woman Mrs A. When we meet, she's urgently seeking legal advice, claiming she's just one of the victims who handed over extraordinary amounts of money to come to the UK to fill Britain's job vacancies. She had no idea this was going to happen. Mrs A says she paid what she thought were recruiters in Sri Lanka the eye-watering sum of £65,000 to arrange work in Britain as a carer. When I got to the airport, they gave me the work permit and the ticket and a boy. Mrs A says at the airport, the recruiters gave her a 12-year-old boy who she'd never seen before and was told he had to travel with her. She says they used a fake Sri Lankan passport for the boy and falsely claimed he was her dependent so he could travel on the work visa they'd secured for her. It was last minute. I felt very scared but couldn't do anything about it. I didn't understand much. It was only after I arrived in the UK that I realised it was a big mistake. Mrs A says when they landed at Heathrow Airport, the boy was met by people she didn't know and she never saw him again. Sky News has been told about a number of similar cases where the entitlement to bring dependents on a skilled worker visa is being abused. Just a few weeks ago, another woman, it's claimed, also flew to London on a work visa and brought three people with her, posing as her husband and children. The woman in that case has now disappeared, but our investigation has taken us north in search of the woman's fake family. We traced the man who pretended to be her husband to Staffordshire and have identified him as a 48-year-old Sri Lankan rice farmer who's now claiming asylum. I'm not eating every day. Ten cent. Not sleep, mom. Do you see? My bed. His name is Ratha. He says he paid someone who he calls an agent £50,000 to get him to the UK, where they told him he would have a job and, after a couple of years, residency. How easy do people in Sri Lanka think it is to exploit the British visa system? In attempting to trace the false dependents listed on that one UK work visa, we find Sri Lankans dispersed around the UK. In Liverpool, we've tracked down the boy who says agents made him travel as Ratha's fake son. This is 19-year-old Hinthujan. He's now living with relatives in the city's Sri Lankan community. He cuts a small and frightened figure. He says his family had arranged for him to come to the UK, but had no idea he would have to pretend to be the dependent of a stranger until he got to the airport in Colombo. Unable to speak a word of English, he is also now claiming asylum. Why the UK? There are now questions about the way visas are issued. It's extremely alarming and concerning that we have a system that is not catching exploitation at this level. Um, and there needs to be some way of the Home Office reviewing its systems to look at what's not working here. But remember Mrs A, who we met at a solicitor's office urgently in need of legal help. Her journey to the UK doesn't only raise allegations about people smuggling. There are now questions about the regulation of the skilled worker visa system.
Mrs A was given a UK residence permit, although she doesn't meet the only requirement to come to the UK from abroad to work as a carer to speak English. Sky News has obtained these documents used to support Mrs A's job application by the so-called recruiters she paid. Her own legal adviser has told us the documents are entirely fake. Mrs A never completed a three-year diploma course in nursing, neither did she pass exams in physics, biology and chemistry. These forged certificates state that Mrs A obtained a very good pass in an English language exam. Mrs A's fake CV boasts she spent seven years providing direct nursing care to patients in a busy hospital ward environment and two years providing care to patients in a home for the elderly. It says she's skilled at safe patient handling and first aid. None of this is true. Almost 150,000 people came to the UK last year on skilled worker visas. In February 2022, carers were included on the government's list of jobs needing to be filled. It was that opening up of the jobs market post-Brexit which also brought this family to the UK. Seat. Seat. But Vinothan and his wife and two young children are now living in the spare room of someone they know because he says the job he thought he was coming to do didn't work out. Vinothan says he received a letter saying he'd successfully secured a post as a care support worker for 40 hours a week. On induction day he was given a uniform, but claims he wasn't told before leaving Sri Lanka he would have to do unpaid training for an unspecified period of time before getting paid work. Now in dispute with the company, his certificate of sponsorship to work in the UK has been withdrawn and he's claiming asylum. Vinothan says he paid people in Sri Lanka £26,000 to arrange the job, his entire family's life savings. So you thought they were recruiters? You didn't know they were criminal gangs? No, I don't. When you gave them the money? No. But why did you think recruiters would charge you £26,000? Because uh, I asked them, uh, because this is a very huge amount. I thought I am getting my visa genuinely. I care with the expectation of job. I mean, it's a very, very, very big amount for us from Sri Lanka. Because uh, my grandfathers, my grandmothers, jewels, two, three generations, they've earned that. Inside, I don't have anything now. Everything has gone. They have cheated. We've spoken to both the companies who separately sponsored Mrs A and Vinothan to come to the UK. They insist they've done nothing wrong and have no connection to the people in Sri Lanka that Mrs A and Vinothan say they gave money to. But the practical consequence of all of this is that recipients of skilled working visas are ending up in Britain's asylum system. The Home Office says it's reviewing the skilled worker visa process as a result of our report. A spokesperson said, We are actively investigating the claims made. Abuse of our immigration system will not be tolerated. Anyone who's used false documents, misrepresented their personal circumstances or practised deception by any other means will have their application refused. Britain's buckling asylum system has yet more complex cases to unpick. This wasn't how those who gave vast sums of money in the hope of securing new lives in Britain hoped things would work out. Lisa Holland, Sky News.